You could not ask for a better address in Sydney. In the shadow of the Harbour Bridge and directly across from the Opera House sits the Park High at Sydney. With its privileged perch atop the rocks and its sweeping views of Sydney Cove, the Park High at Sydney has the most scenic location in town. The Sydney Park Hyatt is known not only for its iconic location, but for its contemporary design and its attentive, but not overly stuffy, service. But is this Sydney's best hotel? Let me take you inside and we'll see what's on offer. Hey, this is JR, AKA The Tourist. Welcome to the Park High at Sydney. This is not a review, but merely a brief impression of the property. Let's head straight up and see the room. Later, we'll spend some more time down here in the lobby. The Park Hyatt is located in an historic precinct known as The Rocks just north of Sydney's Central Business District, which makes it an ideal point from which to tour the city. The hotel has 155 guest rooms and suites spread across three floors. The entry level rooms face the harbor, while rooms with a view of the Opera House are also available. Most of the rooms have balconies. The standard guest rooms are between 430 and 480 square feet. Not particularly large, but the rooms are well laid out. The stylish but understated design aesthetic is quite typical for the Hyatt brand properties that I've experienced. The bathroom opens up onto the room by way of a sliding wall and includes a white marble double vanity and a wet area with the bathtub and the shower. The toilet is in a separate water closet just to the left of the front door. The toiletries are all the lavo, and there are individually boxed amenities as well. The shower is shielded by a glass wall, but the wet area is mostly open to the rest of the bathroom. Whether there is enough separation between the spaces is a matter of your personal taste. I prefer clearer separation and a door to the shower, but this layout is more than acceptable. This is how the room looks when the bathroom wall slash door is closed. Closet space is not abundant, but is adequate, and there is a full-size ironing board in the room. There is an espresso machine, as well as complimentary capsules and tea bags. The tea is from Aurora, a local cafe chain. There is a selection of wine and liquor for sale and a decently stocked fridge. As I noted earlier, I stayed here on a discounted rate, which was great. However, it meant that I was in a room with an obstructed view. There, through the big tree is the opera house. The room was also on the first floor, looking out onto a part of the harbor that got a good amount of foot traffic. Though the room is not in an ideal location, the discounted rate makes up. No matter the room, I have equal access to the hotel's amenities, so let's go and see some of those. The Park Hyatt's gym is rather compact, 
though with a good mix of weights and machines. The weights are on the light side though, so don't expect to get a heavy strength workout in. From the gym, you can directly access the pool area on the roof, which can also be accessed from the elevator banks. As you take in the pool, I will remind you that I publish a new video every week, either a hotel impression or a city guide. If you would like to join me in my travels, hit the subscribe button and we'll tour the world together. I was here in winter, so not much action in the pool. There were some people in the hot tub at one point. Here again you can see the Park Hyatt's top selling point, its location, and its views. I can't say what the roof is like during summer, but I imagine that it makes an excellent spot for relaxing and socializing. There are also some cabanas over here, and there is food and beverage service available. The other food and beverage outlets are all on the ground floor. Let's go down and see them. There are three venues down on the ground floor. The bar, the living room, and the dining room. The bar is in a quiet corner, but not too far out of the action of the lobby. The dining room is the hotel's signature restaurant, and it builds itself as quintessentially Sydney. It looks out over the harbor in the direction of the Opera House. The living room is the more casual option, and it looks out onto the harbor as well. In truth, I can't say if this is Sydney's best hotel. I haven't stayed in many of the other contenders. I can say that its location can't be beat, and the style and service are top notch. If those are things you value, then it's probably hard to beat the Park Hyatt Sydney. Thank you for watching until the end. Your attention is appreciated. Stay tuned for future hotel impressions and more.